The perfect PC is finally here. Spider-Man on PC gets cheaper and Winamp is back. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And the top story today is the PC of my dreams. The, the liquid dreams that I have. Some would say that they're wet. Anyways, <laughs> Kyler's giving me a look. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Anyways, Fizon showing off a computer that I absolutely want. We don't have an HR department. Horse resources? This isn't, we're not equestrian. Horse renaissance. Horse, re again, again, Horse no equine here. Fizon showing off a PC that I absolutely want. Get this, it has a Ryzen. 7000 series processor. It has DDR5 RAM, and best of all, it has a PCI Express 5.0 SSD. Fizon best known for making SSDs, their controllers being used in a lot of the PCI Express 4.0 SSDs. This is the peak performance that we're definitely expecting. But one of the things that I think most people are skipping over when they're talking about this, if you look here, the, the PC they're testing doesn't have a graphics card which means that the integrated GPU on the 7600X that's allegedly under this system uh, is working phenomenally, allegedly. Again, I just, this makes me really happy to have GPUs built into AMD CPUs. But on top of that, the fact that this is impressive is that this PCI Express 5.0 SSD is not on a riser card, but is actually in the M.2 slot. So Fizon has gotten their controller to work for this with speeds reaching up to 12 gigabytes per second of sequential read and 10 gigabytes per second of sequential write, which is quite fast. Current generation PCI Express 4.0 can do about seven on read and write. So this is almost double, not quite there, but first generation PCI Express 4.0 SSDs weren't quite there either as far as I, they were more in the three to four region. So this is over double that. I'm looking forward to this. We're getting the glimpses. I, I mean, of all things, Fizon showing us what the next generation is gonna be truly capable of. I am very excited for this. Also Fizon showing off the power of five technologies. AIM 5 platform with five nanometer technology from AMD. Fizon's got the Gen 5 PCI Express and Micron's got the DDR5 memory and PCI PCI Express Gen 5 SSD. There's a lot of fives going on. They're not launching it May 5th, so they kind of they kind of lost that one. But it was cool when AMD did the seven nanometers on 7.7. They launched it July 7th because that was like it made sense. But who cares about fives? Nobody. Nobody. Five's the worst number ever. Were you gonna tell HR about that one too, Kyler? Uh, one was the worst. No, one's the loneliest number. Isn't that the worst? You. Uh, wow. You really think that people who are lonely are in the worst possible situation? How privileged of a life have you lived? Not a lonely one. Wow, okay, well, <laughs> Samsung doesn't wanna be lonely with their PCI Express 5.0 SSDs because they're coming out with one. The 990 Pro is now getting listed across database entries, one terabyte and two terabyte configurations. This might mean that they might be ready for the launch of 5.0 SSDs, something that they were a little bit delayed on with 4.0 SSDs, the 980 Pro coming out quite a bit late compared to competitors. So uh, I'd be excited if you want, but in case you pre-ordered Marvel's Spider-Man for PC, you can get excited if you live in certain countries because the price is actually going down and you can actually cancel your order and reorder it at a cheaper price. Steam coming out and saying that it was actually a pricing error in several countries of UK, Australia, New Zealand, Switzerland, Israel, Norway, and Poland. You'll have to cancel your order in order to get the new price, but you're more than welcome to do that. A lot of countries stand to save about 10 pounds or $12, depending on which country you're in. For example, in the UK, they're saving about five pounds, so not quite a big change but it does mean that you get you get the game for cheaper. I think it's $50 here in the United States, which it, it is a very old game. Like I think it's four or five years old at this point. I'm glad that they're not charging $70 for it. They have remastered it. So it has all of the extra features that you would want, including DLSS, all of that kind of stuff. I think the $50 price point is probably worth it. Let me know what you think of that down below. But I know what a lot of people who are older think. Kyler won't get this because he's too young. Winamp, it's coming back. Do you know what Winamp is? Is it like D's? Is do you know what Winamp is? Is it like Ligma? Do you know what Winamp is? 
He's got to Google it. Anyways, well, people's favorite media player from back in the day finally posted an update after four years. The 5.9 RC1 build 999 has come out, or quad nines, however much. It's got improved Windows 11 compatibility, a whole bunch of other features that make it slightly better at this point. It was a fan favorite back in the day in order to play your favorite pirated content that you downloaded off of Napster. So, uh, whoa. whoa. Listen, I was just saying what people did. I was too young for Napster. I, I wasn't I wasn't in my pirating days in Napster. I was more of a Kaza guy or LimeWire. There was also Frostwire, I believe. I, I, I was on that one at one point. Shortly after LimeWire. Shortly after, yeah, that yeah that tracks in my brain. There, there was one song that I remember. It was by Less Than Jake. I think it's called, uh, Motown Never Sounded So Good. And it was the only song that I ever downloaded where it was a different version, where they were like, please buy our CD. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like the actual band members. It was great. Catelyn, don't cut a single line of that. <laughs> that is an important story that people need to hear. What's also important is hearing the Crypto Stonks update every day. It's good for your soul, good for your brain, and allegedly it pays your bills and raises your kids. Bitcoin up half a percent right now to be at just over $23,000. Ethereum up 1.5% to be at 16.46 and Dogecoin down ever so slightly to be at 6.7 cents. But I'm not down because I got Reese here to bring up my spirits. He's not gonna talk to me. He's gonna talk to you guys. And so I'm sad again. Good thanks and you. Hey friends, Reese here bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Today we've got the PNY CS900 2.5 inch SATA drive going for only $35.99 for the 500 gig variant, which is currently the best deal at the moment going for 42% off. It's a great way to spice up an old PS4, give it a little bit of extra juice, so pick it up while you can. And secondly, we have the Elgato Wave 1, a USB condenser mic, which is the baby brother of the one I'm currently using right now, if you want to know how it sounds because it's basically the exact same thing missing a few buttons here and there so it's currently going for 69.99 nice which is currently 30 dollars off or 30 percent off and it's the lowest price it's been in 30 days so that's actually a good deal you can find all these deals and more in the link in the video description cheers brett noises yeah reese i just want you to love me my guy just respond to me once in hot news okay like i want you to have a fake conversation with me good thanks and you And I got ahead of myself by introducing UFD deals because I was supposed to talk about something else for crypto stonks, but Nomad, which is a bridge for cryptocurrencies, got hacked, a chaotic hack indeed, losing $200 million in a very quick time because of compromises in the smart contracts that started on August 1st, which quickly led to $200 million being drained out. According to reports, it says the hack is chaotic because you didn't know, need to know about specific things. All you had to do was find a transaction that worked, find and replace the other person's address with yours, and then rebroadcast it, making it so that it was easy to rep reproduce, reproduce, replicate. Words that coming out, blockchain bridges connect different blockchain things across blockchains and uh, they're vulnerable is what I'm gathering. And that's where the big hacks are gonna start coming from, especially as we're trying to bridge all of the blockchains. And GM's trying to bridge its own chain with its customers. That worked, made so much sense. Okay, the Chevy Bolt used to catch on fire. I'm trying real hard this episode, Kyler. You stop, you stop it. <laughs> In case you don't remember, Chevy Bolts caught on fire, battery issues. They had to stop selling them for a very long time and made it so that people don't wanna buy them. I When we drive by our local Chevy dealership, there's always like three bolts just sitting there and they have to be the ones that are the fire hazards. I don't know why they haven't sent them back. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, uh, the GM is offering a $6,000 rebate to the customers who have purchased a Chevy Bolt. That's different from the $6,000 credit that they're offering if you want to become a new owner. But if you're a previous owner, uh, you can get $6,000 so long as you sign a document that says you're not going to sue them for the catching on fire thing. All right, you just you just will um, forever wave and release all claims, damages, or causes of action arising out of my Bolt vehicle, the battery defect or the battery recall. So I mean, it just depends on what financial situation are you in. Is Six thousand dollars worth you never going to court with GM is six thousand dollars worth the moral principle of a company getting off scot free for potentially burning down the country and burning down the thoughts of EVs. I don't know. I'm not gonna judge you if you take the cash. Kyler would take the cash, wouldn't you? What? Yeah. Yeah, he would. T he totally would. Cause you get a car and cash. You win. You win. So what if it catches on fire? 
And if you had that amount of cash, six grand, you could potentially buy Intel's upcoming 13th gen 13900K. And uh, there's new details coming out that it, it can hit six gigahertz if you disable the efficiency cores. So the performance cores can get six gigahertz. It's, it's, it's a fast one. That's a lot of numbers. That's 6,000 megahertz, Kyler. Sounds like that would hurt a lot if you were hurt by hertz. <laughs> Did you know Hertz is buying a lot of Teslas? Like the car rental company? The car rental company, yeah. They're placing orders for 100,000 of them. They already have like 20,000 delivered. And they're, they're available all over. They say it's the most popular car and uh, it saves them like 20% in maintenance fees. Can't wait until all those cars go bad in like 10 years and then they get sold like in mass in a discount and I can finally afford one. <laughs> How are you ever gonna get out of the basement to drive it? That's the end of this episode of Hot News. We'll see you back here for more tech news tomorrow, my friends.